So you've got some glowfish or you're thinking about getting glowfish and I feel it's my duty to help you be as successful as you can to stay in this hobby. So they're technically a genetically modified fish to bring out all those crazy cool colors. There's more and more being added to the line every day. I can think of tetras, tiger barbs, danios, uh, rainbow sharks, and I know there's more uh, and more coming out. So we get this cool color and we use an actinic light. That's that blue light to really make that color pop. Now with that comes some inherent problems. Like because you have that light, you can't grow plants very well. Because you can't grow plants very well, you might be minimally uh, stocked when it comes to decor, right? So you're gonna need some fake plastic plants in there because a lot of those fish are kind of territorial and they will nip on each other. And a lot of them are schooling fish. So you've got a lot of things working against you. Glowfish tend to be kind of expensive. They need to be in groups. In my opinion, at least five. So if you're getting zebra danios or the glowfish danio, uh, you need at least five of them. The good news is you can get two pink ones, a yellow one, a red one. Like you can mix and match the color because they're all the same fish. At least five. And I stress the at least part. Uh, and same thing with the tetras. At least five. Pick the colors you want. That's fine. When it's tiger barbs, I would say do them in their own aquarium. Just the tiger barbs. All the colors in the rainbow, it'll be fine. But mixing them with those other ones... It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a, a death tornado in there, especially if you're like, well, I've got the five gallon, you know, glowfish tank. We're, we're, we're going to have to build a better glowfish tank. We're going to get to that. Uh, when it comes to the rainbow or the rainbow shark, you just want one. And ideally it's like one for like a 30 gallon aquarium. They're like, they're pretty territorial. So the only one, and they're going to be kind of a tank boss. Now, when it comes to that glowfish tank, unfortunately, Glowfish tanks are usually small. I think the biggest one I've ever seen is like 12 gallons. I hope they have bigger ones. Maybe you've got a bigger one, great. Uh, but in general, the fish that we're talking about that are glowfish need to be in like 20, 30, 40 gallon tanks. They're really active fish. That's why they sell well. They are very hardy, but not in small, small tanks. Like that's just a Thunderdome that we don't want. Now they all need to be heated except for the Danio technically. The Danio doesn't have to be, but they would all like to be at least 72 degrees with 75 to kind of 80 being a sweet spot for them. And a simple heater will take care of that for you. All of them are fairly easy to feed. Pick a flake food or a frozen food or a pellet food. Almost anything they'll eat. The big thing here is you're gonna wanna do a lot of water changes and gravel vacuuming and changing filter media and servicing it because you, you're not really gonna have plants. Now, if you build your own tank, you could plant it up. It's gonna look amazing. The plants are gonna help you keep the water cleaner, um, but use a test kit, stay on top of those water parameters and you should be good to go. Now, the last thing I wanna leave you with is, in my opinion, glowfish are not that hardy when coming from the store. So they get brought in by massive amounts to a wholesaler. They get fed a little bit, but not enough to go around. Then they land at a store and they get fed a little bit. And by the time they land in your tank, they're underweight, they're really stressed out, and you might have a smaller aquarium than they were in. And so now they're gonna be more susceptible to disease. So I would invest in quarantining them if it's your first fish ever. Well, you've already got a quarantine tank because they're the only fish you have. But the more water parameter or the more water you have, the better your parameters will be, the easier it'll be to hopefully not get them sick. And then watch them for signs of disease. If they have little spots on them, if it looks like their fins are wearing away, something like that, you can look that up and go, how am I gonna combat this? But you should be successful if you follow the tips of look for healthy specimens, use a much larger aquarium than you need. And when I say much larger, 20, 30, 40 gallons, that is a relatively small aquarium in the scope of the thing of the of the aquarium hobby, but it is magnitudes higher than a five gallon or a ten gallon, something like that, especially for these fish. There are much, much better fish for a smaller aquarium. If that's something you're into, look up the term nano fish, and you can find great candidates that would love to live in that smaller aquarium. And the last thing I'll leave you with, don't mix glowfish and a betta. There's pretty I'm not gonna say it's never been done. 
But those fish in general don't get along just by the nature of how a betta responds and how the betta has long fins and how rambunctious those fish are. So good luck. I hope to see you in the hobby long term and enjoy those beautiful fish.